Hey, buddies! The Ted McQuiskey here, and welcome back to Dune Spice Wars, where we're playing as the smugglers. I think things are progressing reasonably well for us. We're up to that 5k fame threshold, and we are getting a trickle, and we have a few things kind of in the bank for us. Uh, most importantly is we're working hard on increasing our Solari income, in particular making our way down to economic lobbying. Now that will take an awfully long time to get there, but my hope is once we do get there, that our luck will turn around, that our income will skyrocket. I could probably do with getting a little bit more manpower around the place, so I should start looking around for places where like, yeah, like here, for example, you know, we could pop down a manpower building. Tablon, you know what? Tablon is a good spot for a military base. Oh wait, I don't have it unlocked yet. Ah, darn. Well, we do have wind strength four here, so I could increase my wind trap level, which will get me 50 hedge money, which is kind of like having one of those victory. Oh, there's a rebellion. All right, let's get transported over here and get closer to the rebellion. We do have a supply drop, uh, so we shouldn't have too much of an issue fighting this. The only issue will be the sandworm uh, when it comes to this rebellion. Thankfully, though, we will be able to pull them out of the city and then they'll start getting bombarded. Also, I have an unassigned agent. I'm trying to think. Uh, infiltration levels are important. Every infiltration level I can get. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and infiltrate Arrakis again. That extra authority could come in real handy when I continue to try to expand over here to the north. Also, I need to increase my military. And I like the idea of having lots of scavengers because they, they, they tend to scale off of fighting a lot of small, weak units like rebels. Because once you kill an enemy, they start healing. So they tend to be able to, you know, move on from a fight fairly quickly. All right, let's get inside the town. Yep, we got some some of those boys eaten before we can get this cleaned up. Perfect. Uh, we're on we're on task to get our quota up, although Chome is, is buying for pretty low price right now. Oh, watch out for the worm. <laughs> oh, the worm is a dangerous boy. It may be a good idea to get an airfield over here. But I think the better thing to do would be to continue to expand, uh, not only towards these like areas, but also like to start making friends with the siege because we have so much. We just have so much. Oh, I can spend 200 spice to get this. Well, I might do that in a little bit. Oh God, I keep, <laughs> I keep getting distracted. What I'm trying to say. Uh, uh, we, we just have so much economic potential. We have so much economic potential. We have so much authority. We need to start exp expanding, building up, especially because there might be some special regions that we could pick up. Uh, the Cave of Riches. I don't know if we want to pick up the Cave of Riches. It's a little bit too close to Arakeen. I think Arnram is a really, really good spot because we have plenty of warning if they come for us. We're a little bit vulnerable over here. But I think if I were to get a turret right on the edge in Sinlon and make sure that I fill it out with militia, this city should actually, with this turret, help defend Tablon whenever the Fremen come for us. So I think expanding to Odsud would make sense here. So I'll get a pair of scavengers to go that way and then I'll get the rest of my units to hang out near Runin to be quickly teleported around the map. We found a harvester wreck. I would like to pick up that spice. And we paid our chome tax, so we're no longer in dire straits. And the price is very, very low on spice right now. So I'm going to go ahead and stockpile. I'm going to stockpile for a while until that price gets better. Uh, that'll mean... Because I have a little bit of a surplus right now. So I can get away with like a 90% stockpile. Let's get this guy transported over to here. And then I'll keep these four guys in rune. And oh my god, the city keeps getting attacked. I forgot that the... Uh, Thing. Manpower is a problem still. Can I find a place to build a manpower building? Uh, yeah, Iron Room needs... Yeah, I definitely want the Black Market branch. That's going to give me so much income. So that'll be what I save for. And I'm pretty close to having the money for it. I just need to pick up a little bit more cash. I think if I drop off some spice here, I'll pick up the cash portion and then the Plazcrete will come in. So I'm actually good to pick up Statecraft. The question is, I don't think I want plus 200 max influence. I mean, it does give me lots of extra votes. That's the thing. Plus two influence production really doesn't seem like much. I'm going to go ahead and just pop it down in here. This is going to be really helpful. It's going to give me a significant amount of income, which is going to be nice because I am stockpiling. I am stockpiling uh, spice right now. All right, let's go clear this out. I have a couple of support actions. Um, I think I'd like to start doing some ghost market stuff. That way I can steal some of pe some people's resources. And I also need to continue to expand my network of spying here and subterfuge. Now, I thought I had four black markets, but apparently I only have three. But that's okay. I think we have spyware in here. So I'll get a Whisperer's Lair. The whisp these, these buildings are so cheap and yet so effective at like producing 
useful resources like intel and stuff combat is ongoing make sure you lock those guys up in melee i will drop a supply drop in here and then go ahead and get another one well i can't quite afford it just yet supply drops are really really great they let you just be so much more aggressive with your units the intel benefit is uh, it's kind of crazy to be honest okay we might should take this town we will claim it probably should be doing a little bit of raiding it feels kind of hard though because it, it feels very like you leave yourself open to, to attack it feels like every time i go for a raid somebody attacks me from behind Ooh, i would like to get control of the great volcano that'd be a great for fuel cell production and we do have now control of odd sud i'm good on fuel cells i'm good on water i have a little bit of authority i could probably do with just the basics get some militia in here and then get ourselves a plaskrete factory so it looks like the harkon and ooh i should have i didn't realize that there was a landsrad council or i would have tried to take the judge of the council this would have been amazing for me because my influence uh, generation ability is really really high but the good news is i am ahead on underworld bribes that is netting me like 60 solari per 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 cycle uh, looks like we've got a raid coming for sinlon between a turret now let me see this is two rangers and two bombers so between i guess with the turret this should be defendable i think Nah, okay village under siege let's get our guys to make their way over my hope is that we will play a gear sabotage here to lower their combat strength and then i'm going to do a ghost market on let me see here where are they producing a good amount of spice ghost market steals 50 percent of the spice and plaskrete so i want somewhere that's making both here we go spice and plaskrete here i'll go ahead and yoink that get ourselves a supply drop and see how this combat goes here i might have to pull back these melee guys i think i never rebuilt the turret which was a mistake okay we got one of the kills i don't think we'll get the other one this is a fade a fade akin so i definitely need to get the turret rebuilt here and i'm gonna put the turret to try to also protect uh tablon and then i'll rebuild the militia i, I feel like i'm doing this constantly is rebuilding militia after rebuilding militia but i, I think it's necessary okay this village is under siege but the turret is doing work in keeping things safe and I think we're good. We'll just have to rebuild militia here. We got our Plazcrete factory over in Odzud. Marno will need a couple of extra people. Do I have what it takes to capture this? I do. I just need to get a couple of people over there. Really what I need is for uh, survival training to finish. So I think I might... Yeah, maybe I'll cancel Grid X plane and just try to get survival training finished. Well, this doesn't actually give me military command points, does it? Hmm. Oh, crowd manipulation lets you start a village rebellion. That must have been what was happening in my first game where all my villages were rebelling. I was getting targeted by these missions. Ah, that makes a lot more sense. It's interesting. I think every faction has their own unique missions, it seems, with some overlap, obviously. Although I'm not entirely sure if that's true. I have to, like, spend a little bit more time with the game and figure things out. Uh, how are we for our spice contract? We're good, so we can continue to sell a bit here. These are some water merchants. I could pick up authority. I'll need another unit up here in the north. I'll bring my demolition crews up. This will mean I'll be a bit vulnerable down here for a while. Um, but my people should never be too far from getting transport. And I do have a turret, so that's not too bad. And we are about to get the black market branch up, which should reasonably increase our income right uh like the black market branch is giving us 33 solari per per cycle so do i want to capture marno or do i want to capture Burville? i think marno will be worth more solari so that's where i'm gonna go i do have a supply drop so i'll be good combat is ongoing let's go ahead and play the supply drop early into the fight so my units regen in a way that makes sense and uh, once we get our first kill the units will regen even more Right, get into the city if you can. Don't go out there. Don't go out there. Stay here. Now you can go. Oh, for God's sake, the worm got one of my dudes. <laughs> Walk without rhythm, baby. Well, the worm will get you. Ooh, sniper is interesting. Looks like wreckers and snipers worked well together. Um, I'll just grab another wrecker. My militias are just getting depleted from constant attacks. I'm like constantly trying to refill them. My manpower demands are just way too high. It probably would be a good idea for me to get the recruitment center. It would at least give me passive manpower that I could make my way through the game with. How important is the harvester works to me is my question. It's a good building, but is it important to me? Do I want to put a bounty on this here? I'm going to put a bounty on supporting the water upkeep. Well, that's kind of expensive, actually. I don't think I care that much to pay that. All right, lovely, we captured another town, feeling good. All right, what's going on? There must be a rebellion or something somewhere. Yeah, there it is, right. All right, let's get every unit we can. Must be an airfield range and get them as close as possible. You guys need to hang out here while you make your way over there. We need to bait these guys away from the city. 
It, it's almost like you need to build your airfields in pairs, like beside each other, to keep this sort of eventuality from happening. Because this is crippling my gold. Or my money income, rather. So we got control of Marno. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a processing plant for that plus 30 Solari income. Now I'm wondering, I wish there was like an overlay that I could see like where the organized supply is because it looks like odds so even though it's hit by organized supply is actually a good spot for it although maybe fawn arcat has a maintenance center ah the maintenance center is here but it's blocked because of the rebellion okay that makes a lot more sense this is probably a good time for someone to hit me down here in my center so annoyingly i'm kind of not okay with that uh, i do support water upkeep and i would like the landsrad guards i mean i could do some raiding with them so i think i would like to take those for sure, for sure. All right, little warrior, get in there and distract these guys. I just want to get them off the base to reset the liberation timer. And also, maybe pulling them out into the sandworm desert could help. Vice field detected. Okay, mission successful. We do have a supply drop. Supply drops are, like, so incredibly cheap and effective. I should just keep, I should just keep dropping them. It'd be kind of cool if maybe the effect of the supply drop, like, depended upon your relationship with the spacing guild. Okay, I am losing way... Way too much Plazcrete right now. What is what is killing my Plazcrete? We have another rebellion? Oh no, this city is being hit by a storm. Okay. Live. Oh, uh, I lost a guy. All right, we're getting easy kills. And the nice thing is, like, every time these rebels happen, I do pick up a little bit of score that gets me towards winning. We paid our bribe. And the... The Solari base exchange rate has gone up significantly, so I'm going to stop stockpiling as much. And we will be selling significantly uh, this quarter. I'm going to sell a little, yeah, like there. All right, we're back under stable. I definitely need more Plazcrete. I need more Plazcrete. It's just like, it's a never ending need. It's like the amount of Plazcrete you go through this game is kind of nutty. All right, these guys are out of combat. Let's get them back to the center. How'd the vote go? Oh, it hasn't gone yet. Two days until it goes off. Makes sense. I'm loving this passive tech, by the way. The free tech is so good. Um, speaking of free tech, I should probably look into setting up more deep inside enemy territory, like Hadrek here. This is like a, well, no, 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 no. I changed my mind. In fact, fun. No. Ocus. It's making water. It's making spice. Right. We'll set up a black market here. Bootleg market would retain me some money. So hell yeah. Bootleg it. It'll take two days to build, but that'll be building up a significant amount of power. I like these guys. They kind of remind me of the Skaven from Total War 2. You kind of live in the underworld. All right. We got our lands guard. <laughs> Let me tell you what we're going to do with these bad boys. It's all about capture and control. Um, let's get them teleporting over to fight in Burville. Water upkeep passed. And I'm hopeful that everyone else is struggling for water. Whereas I am drinking pretty, controlling the center. Another unassigned agent. It's probably a good idea to put someone in counter intel at this point. Counterintelligence, while not the most important thing you can do at your time. Does seem relatively important. Perfect. We're now extracting a significant amount of Solari from here. Dude, spyware just feels so good. If I just go all in spyware, steal all the tech all the time. Hell yeah. We did finally finish Grid X Plane. We don't really have the manpower to take advantage of it. But we do now have access to spice silos, which will increase my spice harvesting. And we have access to economic lobbying, um, which will give me better chum spice exchange rate per agent assigned to Chome Infiltration. So once I have that, I'll be able to set two people to Chome and get a 20% increase in that. Now, it'll take a long time for me to get there, but once I do, I'll feel pretty good about it. Now, what's my safest spice harvester? It's honestly, it's, it's kind of none of them, but especially this one here is quite safe. <laughs> what do you got here? Contraband supply. They want spice in exchange for influence and hegemony. Yeah, I'll take the influence and hegemony, please. And then this other mission is set up two spying operations. Okay, so that's actually like a really great one because I could just set up a spying operation and then like immediately get a refund on what I spent doing. Spying operations are getting quite expensive, but that does not make it not worth it, right? They're like super, super worth it, even as they get more expensive because I'm extracting money for every money influence every day. It's crazy. It's crazy. Ah, uh, so that's a thousand salary. Did I mess this up? Set up one of two spying operations. Uh, ghost market? Is that what I need to do to complete that mission? Maybe. Combat going on. Oh, right, yeah. Landsrad, nice work. This is good obliteration here. 
There you go. Okay, we'll capture it. Good fuel here, plus a couple of Fremen camps. We can sell off our spice. Eh, I'd have to stockpile a bit more to make it to payday, but we'll be okay, especially when we redeploy our harvesters. Big thing right now is manpower. I need to get manpower on my harvesters in order to get them working the way they should. All right, Plaskreed factory down. I need an airfield here, I think. Sandworms just always, always, always after my harvesters. Now, the only downside of uh, the passive tech stealing, it kind of means that we are not, um, it makes it harder for us to tech ourselves, is the thing. All right, let's attack Queldad. We'll keep our harvesters deploying. Now, over here in Arnhem, we have a recruitment office. I'm trying to think about how I want to deploy these things. Oh, there's a rebellion here. Hang on, let me grab my my trusty units. Get them over here to take on this rebellion. Let's give supplies to my Landsrat as they fight the enemy. Let's engage their ranged units in melee to keep them from doing bonus damage. I think that's pretty important. Ugh, another raid. Yikes. Uh, I think the turrets should keep me safe here. Man, there's so much combat happening right now. It's crazy. <laughs> we're just we're just fighting everywhere on the map. I think this is a raid right here is what we're doing. Using like the government, the the the, <laughs> the, the government troops. Oh, are we losing? We shouldn't lose this, right? We've got two turrets firing. No, we'll be fine. Oh, Jesus. Get in. Oh, that's two units dead. Oh, that's the danger. You take your eyes away for a split second, man. Sandworm appears and it just eats everyone. Well, that's going to be me needing to recruit more units. How long until I get new units? Oh, I won't get snipers for a while. Scavenger. Ongoing siege. Let's go ahead and pillage this bad boy. How much is it worth, actually? Not bad, not bad. 600 cash. Speaking of 600 cash, we can build a new building. Uh, harvester works for sure. Extra gathering rate. It's not that much. I'd much rather the chome branch, but that's going to take forever. Maybe I could get an influence building? Or do I get the manpower building? Ooh, if I get the manpower building, I can start smashing population into my harvesters. Now there's an idea. You know what? I like the idea of getting the recruitment center here. A little bit of extra manpower? Hell yeah. Let's do it. Helps me scale up my manpower. Just helps me out in general. Ooh, Plazcrete is a hungry day today. I can trade sp spice for influence and hedge money. Don't mind if I do. How are we doing in the spice race? We're actually not too far behind. We're, we're, we're kind of keeping up. And I think if I'm not far behind as a player, I feel like I have the tools that I could catch up and do quite well here. My manpower just jumped like insanely and I'm not sure why. I truly do not understand it. Is it because my armies died? It's probably because my armies died. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense actually. We're finding sieges, but none inside our own territory. They're all like abstractly somewhere else. But yeah, I got excess money, which means I should probably spend it on upgrading any of these uh, underworld things that I have going. And I kind of want to build them in clusters because of the way that my my character works here. I get plus five Solari per adjacent region containing underworld thing. So if I build them close together, they kind of build off of each other and improve each other. So I want to link them up. So Quadram is adjacent to three of them right now. So that's a significant boost. So we'll build you up. And this nets me a ton of influence as well. Influence and gold. Um, they're making Plaskrete here, which does make it worth it to make a bootleg market. That's an extra 10. 10 money, roughly, well, about 9 money, actually, if you do the calculation. I feel like uh, these symbols up here, in terms of UI, these do not seem very clear to me in what's happening and when. The Landsrad one is the hardest. Ooh. Okay. I'll support Solari upkeep reductions. Influence production, I would, wouldn't like that to be a problem. But these other things I'm not too worried about, but... Salary upkeep would be nice, because that would let me, you know, I would be able to print money. Am I not going to meet quota? I am going to meet quota. Let's, let's meet quota a little harder. So tab was, I really want to build a silo here. Need a little bit more cash, but this is going to be 20% spice production. Actually, whoa, why would I build it here when I could build it in Arur? And if I build it in Arur, it hits two... Spice producing regions, for sure. Anyone got any Plazcrete? You got lots. You want my intel? I want your Plazcrete. I want like all your Plazcrete, baby. So he'll give me 990 Plazcrete for 200 intel. That is like the best trade I've ever made in my life. <laughs> Thanks for the trade, nerd. Uh, let's see if he accepts it. Trade accepted. Thanks, bro. 
let's get ourselves. Now, this spice silo is definitely adjacent. Yeah, it's definitely adjacent to both. So we pop down a spice silo here and boom, now we're now we're making the sauce. The sauce is being printed. It's being printed in the smuggler territory. Landsrad Council just came through. I would like to be the water seller union, but I need to produce a lot more water. I don't know how I don't produce enough water for that. I, I guess I, I haven't really been focusing on water production. Probably worth it. I do get victory points out of it. And I do get money out of it. I get a lot out of it, actually. I keep misreading ranged militia as deranged militia in my brain. And like, it just, it sounds so much better than ranged militia in, in my head. All right, we got the cash to keep expanding our Intel network. I don't know if like, is it worth it to keep stacking spyware? That's a question. I wish those kind of things were explained a little bit better, but it's, it's a definite question that I have. Let's set up some more underworlds. This one produces, let's see, it steals spice. Plascrete and water and this thing only makes water so I don't think a bootleg market is worth it I do feel like a contraband cache with hidden explosives combined like lets you pull off sick as hell pillages as long as the area doesn't have like a a drop zone uh, at an airport but yeah I guess I'll get uh whispers layer to keep that influence and intel going like my uh, my intel is insane I'm making 30 per day or whatever we got combat going on oh Runin is under attack let's get all of our troops to deploy there and I guess we will add more troops, although I'm low on manpower. We found a siege over here. Nobody is expanding to the northwest. Maybe that'll be where I move next. All right, here come the troops. The real gang. I'll drop a supply drop in the polar region just to keep my troops healthy. Perfect. We're winning that combat very handily. I'm making money from the fighting too. That's when you know. That's when you know you've got the sauce. Uh, the Harkonnen seem to be doing quite poorly. <laughs> like, very, very poorly. Which uh, is a feels-bad-man moment for them. Ooh, water and spice being produced here. This is definitely a good spot for an Underworld headquarters. I could pop down a, uh, a cash-stealing building here. There we go, bootleg market. And by running a bootleg market in here, we'll get a ton of extra Solari. In fact, my Solari income now is becoming very, very strong. See, I don't think I really care about knowledge, so I think I can start converting my income in Plazcrete and stuff into hedge money. And that's what I'm going to start doing. Uh, basically, everywhere it makes sense, uh, like, i.e. everywhere, we'll just start cracking those down. I can also get a significant amount of authority here um, and continue to expand. And since I was just attacked recently, I feel like it's a relatively safe time to do so. So Queldad would be a good target next. Also, I need to be looking out for good wind, like this great wind here. More water production would be amazing. Again, like I said, anything above a, above a four is like totally windable. Uh, so spice exchange rates are going up next time, so I'm gonna be si I'm gonna be stockpiling hard right now. Like we're stockpiling, we are not sending any spice. That price is about to shoot up. Okay, let me tell you. Let's begin the attack on Queldat. We are moving all of our troops over here to Burval, and we'll soon attack there. The first troop arrives. Welcome, and here comes the second wave. Perfect. Now the hope is that we can pull this attack off before anyone else gets uh, gets wind of it. Our supplies will be a little bit low, but I will be playing a sabotage and pretty soon afterwards a supply drop. We're going to be dealing with a little bit of uh, micromanagement here. Okay, the worm is coming. Get inside the city. I don't care if I lose a unit here. Not a big deal. Super not a big deal. But I will play a supply drop in the hopes of saving any units that I can because they are getting scavenging. Nice, nice, nice. We're healing. There's a lot going on, like, as fights go on, you know? Like, as this, you know, your your harvesters need attention. Everything is just always kind of on. Um, which is kind of interesting contrast. Oh, God damn it! this is what I was worried about. I need to get down here. I need to get them flying there soon. Come on. Get inside your airfield range. Okay, they're coming in, they're coming in, they're coming in. We should get there before they can pull off the pillage. We should get there before they can even kill the turret, to be honest with you. We can finally get snipers, and I would like two snipers. So, I'm gonna get two. They are camouflaged, and they gain up to 30 power depending on the target's missing supply. So hopefully, enemies that are low on supply are gonna be easy to kill. Alright, here comes the army. They won't quite save the turret, which is unfortunate, but they will prevent the taking of the town. Which is the most important thing. That's what I wanted them to do. That was like the goal. It's like, hey, don't let the town fall. Come on. Plascrete factory in Queldat. And I need to look at the generating more water. I believe there was a really good water region somewhere here. Plus five. Plus six. So I'm definitely taking the plus six water. It's a great wind trap there. 
And then I think I would need a little bit more resources, so we can maybe make that one happen soon. So I'm feeling pretty good installing spyware inside the uh, Fremen area. I'm potentially looking for more opportunities to play Underworld Headquarters. It's a good Plascrete and water location here that I can steal 30% of that production as money. I mean, my money is crazy. And I feel really, really nice about it. I'm just worried about, like, my empire is pretty big, so I'm kind of vulnerable to rebellion stuff, and my army isn't that big to compensate. So it's, like, slightly worrying. I think I'm gonna break my army up into two factions. One that's over here in Berval. And then one that's sitting down in the center. Okay, I wonder, does the turret make a difference here? Yeah, we got a rebellion underway. That was kind of expect. I was expecting a rebellion. Like, it was, it was a, little, a little bit too... You know. You know, it'd been a while. It'd have been a while. I was expecting this. Let's hot drop our troops straight in there. The good news is the capital can fight. There's a council vote here. Speaker of the council... Could be a valuable one to take. I could put 550 votes in. It seems like a lot. Manpower upkeep. I wouldn't like manpower upkeep because that just feels bad, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and decline that one, put like 100 votes on it. Otherwise, I don't care about Imperial Intelligence. But yeah, I'd like to be Speaker of the Council. It confers some hedge money, which could be important for the winning of the game. And it gives me a lot of power over the Landsrad. You know what? The power over the Landsrad thing is enough to make me want to vote even more for it. So I'll put 450 in to guarantee it. Oh, my little sniper. No, he died. Okay. Ooh. Free company. Combat drones. So how is our passive research going? Actually, really, really well. Look at all this tech that we picked up for free. Remember, I've been only researching grid x -plane and economic lobbying for, like, ever. Um, to the point where economic lobbying will never finish by the time this game finishes. <laughs> I'm relying almost completely on passive tech. Um, spectral imaging is good. We're picking this up. We will be able to use ornithopters to boost our harvesting rate. We're getting a bunch of military tech passively for free, too. Okay, that's great. Aurora has been saved. It probably could be worth it my while... You know what? It could be worth my while to get the research center just for that little tiny boost to my research and maybe I'll get economic lobbying like before the game ends. <laughs> maybe. Maybe it'll happen, Copium. Oh, they're hitting me with ghost markets and stuff. Oh, no! We're losing. Um, this town over here. We need to go save it. We must protect Sinlon. I had meant to build a military base here kind of expensive. Let's put it down. That'll give us a little bit of extra military power to actually fight these guys. Just the one ranged raider made it through. Man, they have a lot of supply. Oh. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. They're pillaging there. Can I get anyone down here in time? I hope so. We've got everyone in teleporters heading, heading there. Forgot to rebuild my garrison. I wish I could, like, multi-build turrets. These guys are coming for the pillage, too. At least my bros will land soon. Maybe I can pull them off the base. Run. Bro, the damage they just did to me? Excuse me? Oh my god, like the explosive damage that's coming out here is nutty. Oh my god, this dude is crazy. Why do I smell a rebellion? I smell a rebellion somewhere. My economy isn't as good as it should be. <laughs> so we paid the Imperial bribe. Stockpile prices are crazy. We sell everything. We sell all the spice. All of the spice is going off world. None of it for the Emperor. Man, I have to be, like, like because I didn't go for, like, militia defense or technology or anything like that, I've had to be a lot more active with my military on the defense. It's kind of fun, but it's also kind of stressful. Huh. Why isn't this place benefiting from bonus spice? Is it on the harvester itself? Um, let me read this. 20% spice production, ally villages and its neighbors, 1x max. Why aren't you benefiting? Why is nobody benefiting from this spice silo? Wait, what? Is this not meant to act? Oh, okay. Demolish the building. Our spice didn't change when I demolished it. No. Our spice rate did not change when I demolished it, so that does not work how it is meant to. I guess? So, spice silo, here it is. And I need to save up for this spice silo, too. Maybe I can get this one over here a little cheaper? Yeah, 300 should be, should be doable within the next day or two. You officially have over 100 net water production, which is fantastic. Uh, let's have a look here. Show your military word. Receive one elite unit by generating military experience or train three new military units. Um, I don't think I care about doing either of those. Or I can sell spice on the black market. Hell yeah. 300 spice for 50 hedge money and 1,000 salary. 
Uh, yes, please. Thank you. Allow me to expand my network of underground places. Although, is it worth it at this point to continue to expand my network? That's an open question for me. Maybe I would be better off trying to save my money and buy Chome shares. It's hard to know. It's hard to know what the best decision is. We have the spice silo in here. Why is the harvester not producing more spice? Am I, am I dumb? Plus 20% spice production in ally villages in the region and its neighbors. I am the ally. <laughs> I am my ally. Wait, does this building just not work? Is that how I think it does? I guess I just don't understand that building fundamentally or something. I definitely don't want the Plaz Creed upkeep. I have a really big army. I would like to be judge of the council though. That's the thing. And I'll probably, I won't be targeted because I'm not in first. So if I put like a hundred votes into Har House Harkonnen here for them to take this and then the rest of my votes into, well, it'd be good to be judge of the council because then I could train Lansrad and those are crazy and I've got like insane influence. So that would be amazing if I could do this. So judge of the council would be perfect for me, I think. Atreides still has like a bonkers amount of uh, Plascrete to throw away for a handful of intel. I mean, it's a handful, it's 400 intel, but hell yeah. Give me that Plascrete, baby. Plascrete is my dream. I can come in here now. As much as I want this Chome branch, I think we get the harvester work. It'll take 10 days, but it will give me a 10% Solari production boost. And that is a hard thing to pass up. I need to figure out if I can get more Lansrad standing. Maybe, maybe it's because I only have a limited access to it? Yeah, I guess that's what it must be because I, when I get political form, it doesn't give me Lansrad. I guess, I guess I'm stuck at 200. It kind of makes sense to me. But I can get mercenaries now. And like, if you compare mercenaries to scavengers, eh, they're pretty good. I'd say they're on par. The big advantage is they don't take manpower and they only take up two, uh, two slots. The thing is they're quite expensive in Solari. I mean, I, mean, I do make good Solari. It's just kind of like, you know, let's, let's take it a little easy on the Solari. Oh, we're under attack. Get the hell over here, everybody. Big attack. Raiders coming in though is huge. They potentially buy me the time I need. Gear sabotage. Setting up for success. Lowering their combat power. They're just like running in a circle as they get murdered. That's kind of hilarious actually. <laughs> they don't understand what to do when the raiders come. Red, why are you attack? No, we are friend. At the very least, Red, we shouldn't be like mortal enemies like you're treating us right now. Oof, we got hit with the industrial regulation. So our Plaz Creed upkeep is Pretty bad right now. We should be able to solve that problem though. Um, with a few Plazcrete factories. House Harkonnen has been eliminated. Now that I was not expecting. I wonder how they died. That does take one player who was doing better than me out of the game. And it's feeling a little bit neck and neck right now. It's interesting. The AI seems to be quite good at taking out other players. <laughs> I'm quite, I'm quite impressed that they uh, are actually like killing each other on a regular basis. So that's twice now in my hard games that the AI managed to actually take each other out. My big problem is three spice fields does not feel like enough, even though it should be for me. We also have spectral imaging now, so I need to be using my ornithopters. I need to take them off of auto recon and put them onto um, escorting my harvesters to give them an extra 20% spice production. Spice with production 37. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. The extra spice production from spice silos isn't is, is just not showing up. Oh, for God's sake! All right, let's get some more spice silos then. Let's make it happen. Like if we look at this harvester, it's making thirty-seven. I set this carry all to escort it, and now it's making forty-three. Now that's a damn fine improvement. Let's go ahead and take out uh, Qualiel. This is going to be an interesting fight because I'm I'm going to be up against a lot of ranged militia, uh, but not a lot of ranged militia in the bank. So I'll need to like get up and in their face to try and reduce it. And I'm also going to play a supply drop and a, oh, not a ghost market. Uh, I'll ghost market here. What I'd meant to have ready was a gear sabotage. We'll have to rely on the healing from the supply drop. I'll try to get another supply drop actually going. So we got one of the enemy units killed. Let's see if we can get another. There we go, there we go, there we go. The more we kill, the more this guy heals. He's healing, he's healing hard. Nice, we got it. Uh, let's go ahead and we will play the Underworld, Underworld Cell here. Which should significantly reduce the cost here. Yeah, 59 authority, boom. 
That is our town now. All right, we got hostiles near our territory. Let's be prepared. Grab everyone who can down to here. Run in. You have your turret. You have your turret. You have your turret. You have your turret. I'm very well defended over here. Feeling okay. Still losing a lot of Plaskrete. Could be worse though. So I am the Speaker of the Council. I'm not the Judge of the Council. I definitely want to be Zellers Union. I'm not making enough water. That's so unfortunate. I could have been this. Let's go ahead and decline this. We'll put 200 votes to decline. And we'll put the rest of our votes into getting the third. In fact, this is so important. <laughs> I need this. But the Water Cellar Union would be so based if I could have got it. I'd be able to get 100 extra Solari per, per day. All right, here they come. They're coming to fight me. And there's probably a lot of hidden units here. That's the dangerous thing. Yeah, there's at least one hidden unit. Don't let them get you in melee. Use the uh, militia to your advantage. I'll drop a supply drop in my polar region to keep it healthy and happy. Supply drops heal your troops as they fight. I think it's time for craft workshops. I need to be getting those he that hedge money up. Bro, there's so much going on up here. I've got unassigned agents. The works. Now, I think crowd manipulation. This is like my late game play here. So, uh, the more... The more times I can fire this off, the better. So that'll be something I'll be firing off all the time against my enemies. It's just manipul- Oh, I lost a harvester. Oh, that was a lot of manpower that just died. Were they not on auto? Recall? I thought they were. How odd. How are we looking on our spice report? Okay, we can actually stockpile a bit less. Quite a bit less, actually. This is a good season to sell. Next season will be a good season to stockpile because it'll be 1.9. God damn it, old man. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson? Good news is I just got like a chunk of Fremen mercenaries that I can use to raid the enemy town. So get wrecked. Absolutely destroyed. I don't know why I'm making money from killing things, but I'm also not going to argue with it. <laughs> it it's, it's a very valuable skill. Oh, these mercenaries were not as strong as I thought they were. Yeah, they basically crumbled. <laughs> oh no. It is time, however. We can buy some chome shares. Boom. It's an epic mission, so it can have some downsides. But it will start pushing our hedge money up. I mean, what else are we going to use our money for? You know what I mean? Yeah, look at that surplus. Look at that Plazcrete surplus. That is a thing of beauty. We got serious intel. We got serious everything. Oh man, these guys are super just not abandoning the cause of attacking me. It's relentless. It's actually relentless. Legitimately, like they actually just won't stop attacking. And the funny thing is, they're just trying to raid me. They don't even want to do anything super gnarly. They just want to raid. All right, we're going to play our first Chome shares. Boom. And the hedge money race has begun. I think that's going to be the main focus of the next episode is maintaining our current holdings and playing the eco game, expanding our territory, expanding into the last like couple of little bits. Maybe seeing if we can grab a territory or two. And most importantly, fighting off a much stronger opponent with a much smaller army. Thank you guys very much for watching. I love you all very much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.